Linda Wallet. I'm the executive director of the Michigan Chapter of CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations, and also the assistant mem of Masjid, M-A-S-J-I-D, Wali, W-A-L-I-D, Muhammad, M-U-H-A-M-M-A-D, uh, historic mosque, the uh, oldest mosque in the city of Detroit proper that's still functioning, and actually less than two miles away from Imam Luqman's uh, mosque where he led until his killing approximately one year ago. Uh, how this will work is I will just basically open up and just make a few comments, then we will turn the mic over to our staff attorney, uh, Care Michigan staff attorney, uh, Lena Masri, and then to um, the uh, Julia Horowitz, who is a partner in Goodman Horowitz Law Firm, who we are working with in regards to this uh, litigation. Um, Congressman Conyers, uh, his office called about two hours ago, and he said there was an urgent matter that came up in which he would not be here. However, his chief of staff is supposed to be here, and we're hoping that uh, his chief of staff will be able to join us and to read a statement. Then we will also have comments from Mr. Michael Grace, who is the Michigan president of SCLC, Southern Christian Leadership Conference, the uh, formerly Dr. King's organization, Pastor uh, Dave Bullock with the uh, NAACP, and he also pastors the church in Highland Park. We all know the distinguished Mr. Ron Scott from the Detroit Coalition of Police Brutality, who's also a member of the National Lawyers Guild, and we also have Catherine Bruner James, who's an associate at uh, Goodman and Horowitz Law Firm who we're working with. Um, as um, we all know, there's been uh, much concern in the uh, Michigan Muslim community as well as in the broader community in terms of lack of information that has been released. In almost one year since the uh, fatal shooting of Imam Luqman, uh, Amin Abdullah, at the hands of FBI agents. Oh, we turn those, uh, turn that down. Um, I would like to, uh, on behalf of the uh, Muslim community, I'd like to voice just two brief concerns before we discuss the uh, civil litigation. Uh, the first concern is, is that on February 2nd, the Civil Rights Division of the Department of Justice announced that their uh, office would be launching a review into the FBI shooting results to make a determination as to whether there would be a full-fledged civil rights investigation open or not. Six months later, we have not heard word from the Department of Justice in terms of if they are indeed going to open up a civil rights investigation or not in terms of the fatal shooting of Imam Luqman Abdullah. The second issue is in terms of the lack of information that's come forth from the Attorney General's office. If you all remember, um, a few months back, Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy refused to investigate this case because she said the FBI would not turn over to her vital information that would be needed for her to conduct a thorough investigation. Due to Prosecutor Worthy refusing to launch an investigation, this forced Attorney General Mike Cox's office to then launch an investigation in which he hired uh, as a special investigator, Doug Baker. Since the hiring of Mr. Baker, which was months ago, we have still not heard one word in terms of the, in, the independent investigation, or I should say the investigation held by the Michigan Attorney General. So we've still seen in almost one year of the imam's death, uh, lack of transparency and lack of information given to the public in terms of not only the multi-jurisdictional law enforcement task force that executed the raids that led to Imam Abdullah's death, but also a lack of information being shared from the Department of Justice itself, as well as the Michigan Attorney General's office. With that, I will turn the microphone over to uh, Attorney Masri for her to read a brief statement in terms of the FOIA litigation that was uh, filed in court um, actually less than two hours ago. My name is Lena Mastri, L-E-N-A-M-A-S-R-I. I'm the staff attorney with the Michigan chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations. On October 28, 2009, a series of multi-jurisdictional task force raids resulted in the killing of a local religious leader, Imam Luqman Amin Abdullah. Later that same evening, 
police officers conducted a full-blown raid, shotguns drawn at his mosque, Masjid and Haq. Care Michigan filed a lawsuit against the Michigan State Police on Tuesday last week for failing to release information resulting in the killing of Imam Luqman Amin Abdullah and the full-blown raid of Masjid al Haq. Within the last few minutes today, Care Michigan has filed two additional lawsuits, one against the Dearborn Police Department and the second against the Detroit Police Department for failing to release the same information that was denied by the Michigan State Police. Care Michigan plans to file additional lawsuits against other government entities that were also involved in the raids. The Michigan State Police, the Dearborn Police, and the Detroit Police, as well as other government entities involved in the raids of October 28th, have unjustifiably suppressed evidence that the public has the right to access. Suppression of evidence related to the raids has done nothing but fuel suspicion among Muslim American, African American, and the civil rights community at large. Our purpose in filing these three lawsuits, as well as the others to come, is to determine whether the use of deadly force against the Imam was justified, and whether the civil rights of the Imam, as well as members of Masjid al Haq, were violated. Ultimately, our goal in filing these lawsuits is to find the truth. Thank you. Now I'll turn the microphone over to Julie Hurwitz. Thank you. My name is Julie Hurwitz. I'm a partner in the law firm of Goodman and Hurwitz PC. I'm also the vice president of the Detroit chapter of the National Lawyers Guild. I'm here with my associate, Catherine James. We represent the Council on American Isma Islamic Relations in pursuit of what my previous speakers have already referred to, the truth and transparency. The Freedom of Information Act is intended to compel government agencies to be transparent and to disclose public records, particularly in cases and situations where there is the potential for governmental misconduct or wrongdoing. The public has a right to know what its government is doing and what its law enforcement agencies have done, particularly in a situation as tragic as this one where a man was killed with 27 bullets, at least two in the back, and several dog bites on his face. And at this point, the only evidence that we have suggests strongly that uh, Luqman, I'm sorry, Imam Luqman Abdullah was simply defending himself against a deadly attack by a dog. And that resulted in 27 bullets in his body. The public is entitled to know, and the community has a right to know what really happened out in that warehouse on that day the subsequent rape that followed. And that is the purpose of this lawsuit. And it is tragic, not only that a man died, but that in every single effort that has been made to publicly seek information to which the public is entitled to know, they have been stonewalled at every turn. They have been ignored and denied their right to know. We are going to fight vigorously to open this process up and to bring out the truth of what really happened on that day. Afternoon. I'm Michael Grace, president of the Michigan Southern Christian Leadership Conference. And uh, we join our brothers and sisters uh, with care to request that these multi-jurisdictional task force released this information. We know that the imam was bitten several times on both sides of his face uh, by a dog. We know that his body was removed from the area where they say it happened. We know that his body was handcuffed. So if there is nothing to hide, then why don't these agencies release this information? The public has a right to know, and we're requesting that Attorney General Eric Holden get involved and let us know the status of the investigation from the federal government level. Maybe if you can leave it there and, and just keep it there. Thank 
Can y'all get this, or is it going to be too far away? Here, pass the slope.